Hello and welcome to Tip of the Day uh, for Single Moms of Faith. I am Dr. Chanel Serrano and I wanted to wish you a very beautiful Merry uh, Mother's Day. So today's tip is one that is very important and it is self-care. So whether you are a single mom, a married mom, a grandparent, an aunt, um, a mentor, someone who speaks into the lives of children, this message is definitely for you. Um, and so today, as we talk about self-care, I wanted to give you just a couple of strategies and tips. So the first one is mindset. And something that I mentioned in my book, Co-Parenting with Christ, uh, Nine Steps to Achieving Harmony by me, Dr. Chanel Serrano, I speak about mindsets as it pertains to um, being a solo parent. So a couple questions. Do you have a mindset of a survival mindset or superwoman syndrome uh, where we you know, feel as though we can do everything on our own, we do not need any help, or you know, we do what we need to do to get it done? Or maybe it's an overcompensation mindset, as I like to say. And I know for me personally, I had moved or operated from this particular mindset for so long, where oftentimes we're engaging in behaviors or um, the motivation behind our parenting has a lot to do with overcompensating for the lack, maybe the lack of money, maybe the lack of time, maybe the lack of energy, maybe the lack of having a father in the home. And so sometimes as moms, even though it can be um, a good thing or coming from a good place with good intention, sometimes we can push ourselves to the very limit of not having any good self-care regimen uh, because we are wanting to overcompensate. And so a couple of things that I wanted to share was number one, understanding the mindset behind um, your parenting. Where are you parenting from? Um, some of the decisions that you make, some of the behaviors that you may engage in as a parent. Um, where is that coming from? Is it coming from a healthy place? Number two, big thing for self-care is health. Creating a support system is vital. Um, for me, as a leader of a single mom's ministry, you know, I love how over the years, moms will still stay connected to each other and they're able to help each other out with childcare. Um, if perhaps their children go to the same school, one may pick up the children in the morning, the other parent may pick up the children in the afternoon. And so they're able to really be part of a support system or network for each other. So that is big under help. And then two, also knowing, and this is one thing that I've, I've seen um, time and time again, both in my professional world, personal world, as well as the research that I've conducted, is this view that asking for help as a mom means that somehow um, that you're less of a woman or somehow that you're less of a mama because you're asking for help. If anything, that is a sign of strength, knowing that God created us to be in connection with one another. We're not meant to do life alone. We're not meant to parent alone. We're not meant to engage in different things alone. We're, he's created us with the ability to create these social supports. Um, so definitely tap in and ask for help from trusted individuals. Um, and you'll be surprised. Oftentimes they're just waiting for you to ask for help and maybe they already have, but you shut them down. So tip number two is asking for help. Tip number three is removing the cake. Let me say that again, removing the cake. You know, as moms, especially as single moms, again, if we're moving from a place or mindset that, hey, if I don't do it, it won't get done. And maybe that may be true to an extent, but we also wanna be mindful of our own health, our mental health, our physical health. And removing that cake, and understanding that we can't do it all and that's okay, we're not meant to. So next time someone asks you to make 572 cupcakes for the bake sale or um, you know, all these different things that you may be asked and even though you may want to, 
But if you already have a very hectic schedule, the word no is an entire sentence. And part of that removing the cape is also understanding the importance of setting boundaries, setting boundaries. And only you can do that. So pray about what that looks like for you. Maybe setting boundaries means, you know, I have a certain time frame from uh, when I get home and from work, from a long day of work, I just need 10, 15 minutes of mama time. That may mean no conversation with anyone. Um, I just need time to, to relax and de-stress from work. And then I get right into mama mode, right? Or whatever that may look like for you. But setting boundaries is very important. And that's a part of removing the, the cape, okay? So I hope these tips were helpful for you. Again, self-care, number one, understanding the mindset in which you're moving from and making the parenting decisions. Number two, asking for help and knowing that asking for help does not make you any less of a woman and it doesn't make you any less of a mom. And number three, removing the cape by understanding that no is an entire sentence and making sure you set your boundaries. I hope this is helpful. Again, I am Dr. Chanel Serrano and happy Mother's Day to all of you. Be safe out there. Mwah.